and 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 everybody thinks it's cool because yeah, he little man got him son. Little man, no, little man is being traumatized right now, yeah. and he, he can't like, speak up he about it. Yeah, he being it's, it's, it's conditioned. It's, it's conditioned. Like, oh, well, let me ask a question though, because for example, you said that women or not even women, girls, right? At a certain age, especially when they're in middle school, high school, whatever, they know what they're doing, right. right? And so she was saying that, yo, we need to stop acting like they don't know what they're doing. That's true. Do we give that same that same perspective towards the towards the guys? But because it seems as we though we actually do. You said we do. Chris? We do. The- the boy know what he doing. That's why it ain't no problem. It's yeah, but that's, that's, why, why, no that's problem. why it's easier for him that's, to say that. That's why it we say back, it like that. Oh, he's 12 and he did it. Whatever. That I was he just saying. Like, and it's the that shit. boys are conditioned to just, when it, when it comes, just, hey, be ready for it. No matter what, hey, as soon as, as soon as you get that attention, that type of attention, hey, you own it. Look, look at how we treat little boys. She just said it. Oh, mm-hmm. I, you so cute. You gonna be a heartbreaker when you grow mm-hmm. up. You gonna you gonna be a lady killer when you mm-hmm. grow up. All of this, yeah. They be you, saying that's my know, boyfriend. All that, yeah, like, you got you got you got grown women claiming these little boys as boyfriends, He's and fine. then and then giving them preferential treatment, mm-hmm. like in school, in like in daycares and stuff. Oh, he the he the pretty he the pretty one. So we gonna make sure that he get extra stuff. Now now we're playing to that. Mm-hmm. It, it is. You, you play to that because now you're looking for that woman's favor. Mm-hmm. Now you're looking at, oh, if you do something extra for me, and this is where dudes end up getting weird if a woman shows them attention and they be sitting there like, oh, I think she liked me. Right. And it's like, no, she just gave you basic attention. But if mm-hmm. you were a kid and you were raised and everybody was giving you attention and calling you this this pretty boy, this heartbreaker and all of this stuff, when you get older and some some chick, I don't attention. think I don't think Lance see it the same way as y'all. And, and then it, it's crazy <laughs> because it's the shit. It was just <laughs> the little boy that went viral because child. everybody like, oh yeah, he would he could get it, and like it's the way like these women be dressing their sons too. Like mm-hmm. y'all dress him like like a little little hoodlum. <laughs> just at the hotel, just I was just at the hotel, and I'm standing in the lobby, and this. Black lady, she looked like she might have been in her early 30s, early to mid 30s. She's got her son that looks like he's no, he couldn't have been no more than between 10 and 12. And she was cupcaking with that boy. She was cupcaking with him. She was like, yeah, all in his other face. You know, and, it, and, and I'm not accusing her of doing anything untoward because I don't know her. But the vibe was like this my little man though yeah, like that's how it's them, weird right? they, like y'all done got weird with that that's what is up them. with that because women you know what i'm saying they, they they quick to leave a man or have kids with a random and and they going on through life without no man so they make they little boys they man they treat their sons so, like swiss army knights Oh, yeah. it's called yeah. a son. That's they, the son they, they, it, they they treat their sons like Swiss Swiss Army Knights. Whatever they need at that point in time, they go to their son for whatever form. If you feel like you need protection, oh, this person, it's not. Oh, I need you to go fight them, but I'm gonna go ahead and lift off that angry energy by venting to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need I need somebody to play with me like I got somebody for Valentine's Day. Now you now you your mama's little Valentine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you taking yeah. naked Photoshop now, yeah. photo pictures with your son, putting them on she Instagram. Need, like she here we go with that. Seen out in the world. Now you playing sports that you don't even like because she just want to be seen by other parents mm-hmm. out having you yeah. out and about. So she got you out here doing stuff, and now you just doing whatever Ooh. and you feeling mm-hmm. whatever role. That, right. your, that your mother she, needs because right. she don't have a man Because at she doesn't and have a man. finally get yeah. a man, now she's full away. And that's what they say. Yeah. They're like, little man, you the man of the house. Yeah. Nigga Which be is so eight years old. No, they be like, so man, man of the house. Not a man you know what I'm saying? And they put that yeah. on little boys. So boys, you know, we got to protect our mamas. And, oh, you know what I'm saying? And so when we grow up and want to have a relationship or you know get married and stuff like that and 
move on your with your life. Some type you of way. Know, it's a, she needs to sit in the front seat and not your wife who why? gets to sit in the front seat because which of your wives get to sit in the front seat? Like, stop it. The mother, like he said, is looking for what I call the four P's, the provision, the problem solving, the protection, and the procreation for her son. She's looking at, and I see son husbands as emotional incest. That is emotional yeah, incest. Whether yeah. you ever cross that physical line or not, you've emotionally been incestuous with that boy. Because like you said, it's the Swiss Army knife. If I need a protector, if I need a pro that's how a lot in the 90s, that's how a lot of our young men was on the corner slinging them things. Because their mama wanted some money. Or needed some money. He felt like he was responsible he had, he for that. He was the man of the house. He's the, res he's the man of the house. So he, now he has to get provision. And if you're 14 or 15, you ain't working nowhere. So you're going to do, you're going to be the stick-up kid. Or you're going to be, yeah. you're going to slay them things on the corner. Or whatever it are, is that you're going to do. And she's going to be receiving that money from her son. Because he's the man of the house. And he's supposed to be taking care of his mama. That's why so many black boys have a complex when they make it in like sports or they make it and they have money. I got to buy my mama a house. And she ain't buy that's you now. That's <laughs> she, she, that was her that responsibility to make sure you grew up in a house. That ain't your responsibility to make sure she get a house. She, the mama need a man. Is what she need. And that's leave you her, alone. Her son is her man. So, how do y'all feel about Amber Rose and how she treating her son? Like, I, no, I was gonna go there. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so that's cool. This is beautiful. This is beautiful because I actually was gonna segue into that. You are that's good. I see you. My co-host <laughs> over there. But no, this is beautiful because I was gonna transition into that. So let me give y'all a little bit of ins insight, right? Uh, Amber Rose had recently said that. Um, first of all, she spoke about her own situation and said that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm never gonna live with a man. She ever never again. Ever again. Yeah, yeah, she basically like, I'm, I'm never going to live with a man again. Right? <laughs> I don't believe it. However, I'm used I'm up, y'all. I'm, <laughs> hey. I'm just giving it, hold on, let me, let me get the rest of the context, right? And then she spoke about her son specifically. Uh, and she said, and I'm going to just say this loosely. She said her son is born a feminist, right? Yeah. By default, she said that her son was born a feminist, right? And I don't have an opinion either way because I have enough opinions throughout the week on all of the different shows that I participate on, right? And so I want to get your thoughts, um, and I'm sure you can give me some additional context, but I want to give get your thoughts as to how it is that you see what's being communicated, how you think that we got here, and whether or not you think our culture or society is playing a role um, and what it is that she's saying and how it is that she's communicating. Oh, and she also said one more thing. She said that her, she said that she also told her son about her having an OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. He is familiar with that, and he is familiar with her past. Okay? Because that's oh, her man. So. Is that that story that came out where he was defending her OnlyFans? Yep. Because that's, that's her man now. 